WMBF First Alert Meteorologist Robert Whitehurst continuing to track those storms for you right now. Quite an active day, Robert. Yeah, a very busy afternoon. These storms started way up in North Carolina. They had severe thunderstorm warnings all the way up to Wilmington, and the trend over the last couple of hours has been to push these farther and farther south. And we're getting big improvements now across a big chunk of Horry County from Little River all the way through Myrtle Beach, even into Soxie Surfside Beach. Still a little bit of rain and a little bit of lightning around Surfside, but the strongest portion of this storm now pushing into Georgetown County. So notice the heavy rain does continue. Here's 544, the Walmart 544 17 bypass. You go south of there is where it starts to ramp up a bit. And it's very heavy rain down into portions of Litchfield and Polly's Island right now. And a ton of lightning here over the last 15 minutes. Also, the severe thunderstorm warning that is in place with the potential here. Some wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour. The storm will continue to push to the south. So Polly's Island and even into the city of Georgetown, if they can hold together. It'll be there in the next 30 minutes and take a look at the lightning. Nearly 700 lightning strikes over the last 15 minutes. These have been very electric storms and we've been hovering around this number the last hour or two. And that's where we've had a lot of the concerns today. You know, the power outages, a lot of these have been caused by the amount of lightning we've had with these storms. Farther inland, nothing severe here, but some heavier rain now setting up into the far western portions of Florence County and Darlington County. Timmonsville, you're dealing with the heavy rain. You're seeing the dark clouds in Florence. These storms aren't really moving a whole lot, but they may try to drift back into Florence over the next hour. Now we get a break tomorrow morning, but unfortunately tomorrow afternoon, at least the chance of a few more of these scattered showers and storms and similar to what we saw today. It's mainly into the early afternoon where they get going. Before the rain arrives, we're into the 90s and 80s, so it's another hot afternoon. And notice the coverage of the storms increasing through 4, 5, 6 o'clock. Once we get past sunset tomorrow evening, we're really starting to shape up pretty nice looking weekend forecast. The rain chance is a whole lot lower as we get through the weekend, right around 20%. So a lot of areas rain free Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures do turn warmer for Father's Day, 87 degrees, feeling like the 90s. Inland forecast well into the 90s. So the hot weather's not going anywhere. In fact, this is just the beginning. As we get through the weekend, you notice that trend up. Uh, that continues as we head towards next week. In fact, the heat index up around 100 degrees next Tuesday and Wednesday. And temperatures here along the Grand Strand back into the 90s. Now, the storm chances do take a break as the heat starts to climb. So we'll have a couple days there to dry out. It's not until the middle portions of next week where we start to deal with more showers and storms. And your inlet forecast, yeah, a couple more tomorrow afternoon. Big improvements ahead of Father's Day. And then bringing the heat, middle 90s for early next week.